All right, Sylvia here. I am in the desert of Southern California, and I think everybody knows that I'm getting ready to do a huge tour starting in really two, three weeks from now. I'm in the middle of preparations. I'm going through all my gear, make sure I have what I need and that everything works. And I decided I'm going to do a series of probably three videos describing the gear that I'm going to be bringing. So there's the three C's. You got your camping gear, cooking gear, camera, and electronics. And today I thought I would go through my camping gear and uh, describe all the stuff that I'm going to be bringing. Kind of give you a rough cost of what I paid. Uh, most of the stuff I bought many years ago and the weight of it. And then what I'm going to do is set up my tent in the backyard. Um, it's a beautiful day, beautiful green grass, and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start at the tent. That's always the first thing everybody thinks of. This is the Nemo Hornet two-person tent. And uh, this bag has the fly and the tent. Underneath it is the footprint. And then this bag has the stakes. And this bag has the poles. Here I want to go talk about my sleeping pad. I have had this Thermarest X Therm Max for many, many years. This is the warmest sleeping pad you can buy. I have it in a 25 inch wide. Um, it has an R rating of 6.9, which is very, very high. And this will keep you warm -er, up to three seasons and almost seven feet long. And um, it fills the entire floor of my tent. I'm only five foot five and um, with the help of my friend Lonnie, many years ago we actually shortened this pad. It turns out it's really not that hard if you're organized and you know you think it through it's really um, pretty easy to do. Um, but we cut probably more than a foot off the bottom and then you cut away there's a lot of insulation on the inside and then you just iron it iron it shut and uh, you know you can see this looks actually kind of professional um, but this means it takes up less room in my bag and I have a lot more room in my tent. Um, there's another feature about this I wanted to show you. So this is the pump and it just fits on this valve and then you know while I'm doing other things I can have this pad uh, pumped up um, I, I really like it. It hardly weighs anything, and I don't remember what I paid, but it's definitely worth it. Let's go to the sleeping bags. Um, now, these can get very, very pricey. In this bag, I have this in a compression sack. I probably bought this at REI, and it condenses all the air and makes it, you know, a smaller package. Um, this is the Western Mountaineering Alpine Light. I paid more than $600 for this sleeping bag. It has five inches of down. Um, I slept in my tent last night and the temperature probably got down to the low 40s and I was very comfortable. This is another sleeping bag that I bring. This one is from z -Packs. It was probably $400. It weighs 12 ounces and on warmer nights, um, this is what I'll use. This will keep me warm uh, down to about 40 degrees. This is a Lucy solar powered lantern. Um, during the day, I keep it in this pencil case I got at Walmart. Um, I've got a carabiner here. I stick it onto whatever to recharge it. And then uh, you put some air in it, hang it from uh, the, the top of the tent and um, you've got a nice light. And here are my pillows. Um, this is the air pillow that I have always used. This is from Xped. 
I think it weighs just two ounces. You can see it folds down to nothing. Um, it's not the most comfortable. And so because I'm bringing a trailer, I'm kind of thinking I might be able to bring my just regular bed pillow. Um, this is the pillowcase that I have always used for this air, air pillow. And it seems to fit my regular pillow pretty well. This is a windshield screen. Um, you use these in the car windshield to protect your dashboard. And I always use this under my sleeping pad if it's really cold. And uh, that way you're not getting so much cold air from the ground. And these pads, um, you'd have to look at yours to see how yours works. But one way on one side, if you sleep on it, it will actually reflect the heat back to you. And if you turn it over, um, it will reflect the heat into the ground. So if it's really cold, you're gonna wanna have that heat reflected back to you. And then with this windshield, um, you're gonna retain a lot more of the heat. Um, otherwise, in the summertime, you would just turn it over um, to have a cooler sleep. So um, give me a minute and I'm gonna go set up my tent, set up everything, and then we'll do a walk around and I can show you what everything looks like. So before I put the fly on, I thought I would describe this tent a little bit. It's got some pretty clever features. Before I had this Nemo Hornet, I had a big Agnes, and this was a fully freestanding tent. This one is considered a semi-freestanding. And one of the things that was kind of a problem for me was this crossbar here on the big Agnes is separate and I was always afraid that I was gonna lose it. It's really nice that these crossbars are part of the pole structure. What makes it a semi-freestanding tent is that these corners here have to be staked out. So you can see there's no structure from the tent poles for either one of these corners. And um, you know, if you're not in a place where you can put stakes in the ground, you're gonna have to figure out something else. Jury's out on whether this is a good idea. It's got some nice pockets on the inside. And then another way that they can get a little bit of extra room is with these hooks. So this hooks onto the inside of the tent fly and pulls the wall of the tent away. And so it gives you just a little bit more room. All right, let's get that fly on see how this tent looks set up but this is what the tent looks like so there's two vestibules and then there you go with the sleeping bag on the pad my plush pillow and the Lucy lantern I'll show you guys what that looks like a little later and then I really like to be organized with all the bags for all the different parts of the tent, sleeping bag, pad, stakes, everything. So I keep them all in one bag. So, all right, you guys, let me know what you think of all my gear of this video. Please be safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time.